When thinking of Jamie Foxx, three movies come to mind. Those are Collateral, Django Unchained and Ray. In all these three movies, Jamie does a solid performance and shows his versatility. He can both make a man seeking righteousness and a musical artist very believable. Probably his best role is given in Ray, where he plays the legendary blind piano player Ray Charles. Here is him in a biographical style music movie and it's one of those where it's almost like seeing the real Ray Charles in the movie. That's because the character comes so alive and really shows why Jamie Foxx is a top actor. Okay, so this might be a choice some of you might question. Because Samuel L. Jackson rarely plays different roles. Yes, they might differ a little bit, but the backbone of his roles is the Stone Cold Badass that always comes alive in his characters. But nonetheless, he is there on merit because of his ability to play that character. Few other actors have that ability to be this menacing badass and certainly he is the best black actor that has this ability. Probably his best role is given in The Negotiator. If you want to see the stone cold badass character come full circle. This is the one movie you should watch with him. Because he is the right kind of crazy and it really shows what Samuel can do when he is at the top of his acting game. Idris Elba is one actor that is really a man that has made a name for himself in later years. He is the only black actor outside USA on my list and that is well deserved. He has the strong ability to play different characters in a very credible way. If you see him in some of his best movies like Bastille Day, Hobson Shaw and No Good Deed, you really see how different those characters are. He is equally good at being the bad guy as he is at being on the other side as the good guy in the story. That's why also Idris Elba is a man that will only rise in the coming years. Some people even suggest him as the next James Bond. I also think that would be a good suggestion when you first want to put a person of color in there. Because I also feel Idris Elba is a man that will really fit the bill. His best movie is probably No Good Deed. Where he plays a man that has just gotten out of prison and starts to stalk a woman. If you are looking for a good thriller, this is also a movie you should give a chance if you haven't watched it. Next on the list is the always reliable Morgan Freeman and his versatility really speaks for itself. The ability he has to be in any movie whether it is a comedy or a thriller is simply marvelous. What's great about Morgan is the way he manages to be both funny and serious. You can put him in a comedy and he will be great and you can also put him in as the investigator in the movie and it instantly rises in intensity. Probably his best role is given in the immortal movie Seven where he plays alongside Brad Pitt and Kevin Spacey. Here you really see him come full circle as the investigator of a serial killer that they are trying to find out about in the movie. Morgan Freeman can both be a righteous character and he even can be a mafia boss. Like the role he did in the comeback trail. It doesn't really matter what movie he is in. You will always see a top performance by the great Morgan Freeman. The absolute best black actor is the way I see it Denzel Washington. Some of his great roles you can see in The Magnificent Seven. The two equalizer movies and in American Gangster. The last one on the list is my favorite movie with him. And in this movie... He is one of the best gangsters I have ever seen on set. Frank Lucas comes so alive here and it's really enjoyable to watch how accurate he manages to become this drug lord. Because you really believe Denzel is a drug lord in the movie. In a way few movies are able to show on the same level. What I think makes Denzel so great is his raw ability to use himself in the character and really lose himself in the performance and be a completely different person. Sure, very often it might be this righteous character seeking justice, but in American Gangster, you really saw a man trying to live the high life of crime and that was very different from what we usually see from him in other movies. That's why he also by far is the best black actor.